Beaumont Hospital is getting ready to receive, store, and distribute both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines when they become available. And that is a very delicate operation that requires planning and a lot of specialized equipment. Paula Tutman takes us inside the preparations. Uh, Paula, I know you're as fascinated as I am by, about all the science behind this. Devin, I'm so glad to hear you say that because, I mean, I'm totally getting my geek on with this. I mean, we're really watching the machinery of how these hospitals are navigating getting this vaccine in and also figuring out how they're actually going to distribute it. Not the stuff we usually care about or even know about, but yeah, this is different. They may look like ordinary refrigerators, but they are anything but. These hold the hopes and dreams of Michiganders to get their lives back. These are the vaccine storage units at Beaumont Health. It's crazy. <laughs> Note the current inside temperature, minus 70 degrees Celsius, which is actually minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit, which is how cold the Pfizer vaccine has to be stored at in order to stabilize it. And at the moment, there is a lot of choreography going on behind the scenes in preparation for the first vaccine doses, as well as a lot of wait and see how we choreograph a vaccine flow. Beaumont currently has boxes and boxes of supplies, as well as the storage capacity for as many as 300,000 doses, but is still waiting on guidance to figure out who can get shots and when. It will come to us in a, in a powder form um, that is frozen that we will have to thaw and reconstitute, meaning we'll turn it into a liquid form. Um, and then actually it does need to come up to room temperature before you can administer. The freezers are manufactured by Thermo Fisher. And while there are other industries that utilize similar technology for things like ice cream and yeah, even dipping dots, these particular freezers cost about $7,000 a piece, are generally for scientific use and get so cold. These, uh, the shelves are cold, they're metal, right? And so metal at minus 70, um, we've all seen a Christmas story um, and we know what can happen, but I think that uh, you just wanna be careful. Don't stick your tongue on that shelf. I think that's pretty much what he's saying there. Hey, listen, here, here's the thing. North Face and Marmot Ski Gear will not help you for this. You actually need specialized gear when you're going in and out, loading and unloading those freezers. We're talking about things like cryo gloves and special PPE. Uh, but I got to tell you, Devin, of all the stories I've done, I think that is probably the best explanation I've had yet on why that particular vaccine, yeah. the Pfizer vaccine, has to be stored so in such cold temperatures. Exactly right, Paul. And this is not uh, this messenger RNA approach is perhaps not just the answer to coronavirus, but it feels like the future of medicine. I mean, it really is uh, amazing stuff. All right, Paula, thanks so much for that. Great story.